I would like to talk about the monthly report that just came out. It has bad news for the medical system. Uh, I'm going to read you the part over here. As part of the next iteration of active status, the team worked on medical gameplay. When complete, players will be able to equip a dedicated healing item that allows them to scan other players or NPCs to see the vitals, including problem statuses. Now, this sounds good on its face. You get a medical item for diagnosing injuries on another player on yourself, like a track order on Star Trek. Well, well now, it's get now it gets worse. Significant work went into allowing this information to be displayed as an augmented reality overlay on the target player or NPC. Again, this sounds great on its face. However, they showed uh, in a previous report, I think they mentioned it's going to have some character skeleton render on the screen if you use that item. So you can see the skeleton and perhaps the injuries highlighted. I'm not going to dispute that it takes a lot of work to get it to look right. However, I still think it's the cheaper option for a game developer to just have augmented reality stuff instead of having the medical item have an MFD on it, which you can manipulate with your fingers. Like a data pad or something, because it would be really immersive and more realistic. Augmented reality is easier because um, they just have to model an anatomical skeleton and attach it to the already existing character rig and just follow, make it follow the animation which the character is already um, doing. So I think they they kind of masked, they went cheap for it, but they masked it with a really cool looking uh, skeleton. That's that's my guess how it's going to look like. Again, it's not bad, but the expected production value should be a lot higher than this. Okay, then uh, if the player is close enough to the target character, they can use the same item to administer a combination of drugs via a short range beam, which is significantly more effective than the existing med pens and can be further enhanced by tweaking the levels of drugs administered. <clears throat> This is uh, really bad because, again, you have short range beam and combination of drugs, which means uh, you have a magic beam that administers drugs. And I'm also going to bet that it's going to go through armor and your spacesuit in the dead of vacuum. And they're going to explain it with some, with some law that there's some beam that can magically apply um, healing uh, drugs through a suit like that. I think that's really cheap. and. Look at it from a game developer perspective. If you have something that's a beam and you have a gun, you just have a holding animation for that gun and the beam is just shooting straight. And the only effort is going to be how nice the beam looks and maybe some adjustment per hotkey, what type of, or maybe the mouse wheel, what type of drugs the, the character is getting through the beam. However, it's still shooting a beam through, the, through a spacesuit. And I think that's really bad. And then it says, alongside this dedicated item, there will also be a healing beam attachment for the multi-tool for increasing its versatility. And yeah, that, that's even worse because it, now we have a mini game that's designed so it can copy it over to a multi-tool. I think how stupid it is, you have a multi-tool that can heal, that can mine, that can salvage later and cut through, weld through doors or whatever. And it's like if you make a game that has a multi-tool, then the multitude is the hammer and all the gameplay is going to be nails for that hammer. Which means the complexity of, of uh, complexity or depth of a gameplay system is depending on how much animation work they can save with a multitude. And I think there are games out there that actually have a medical system that goes a lot deeper than that. And I think Star Citizen could do the same thing. And in the next two segments of this video, I'm going to show you Space Station 13 and Escape from Tarkov and how they do medical systems. Now I've loaded into Space Station 13. My character is a station engineer and is currently floating in a vacuum of space. And for the purpose of this video, I'm going to take a welding tool and accidentally weld my character in the leg a few times so he gets burn damage in his left leg. Works out. In this game, most of the text, uh, the text field on the right side supports what's happening on screen. So it's, it's, it's a bit like a text adventure combined with a 2D RPG game. Okay, now my character is examining himself cursory with uh, just checking on surface. And he see, you can see it says they have moderate burns. 
because he's wearing a spacesuit and he has a dedicated medical item in his hand, he can only vaguely es estimate what's actually what's actually happening to him. Now my character does have a uh, first aid kit in here. However, I cannot use the items because I'm currently in the vacuum of space. I could take my helmet off or my suit, but then it would kill my character. So now I first have to go inside into a pressurized area. <clears throat> okay, now my character can take off his spacesuit, dropping it on the ground. Now there's several medical items we can use. We're going to use the health analyzer, click on the character, and now we get a, on the right side, we get a detailed explanation. We get 42 burn damage on the left leg. And the way this game works, if you have combined damage from all damage types, uh, I think about 200, I'm sorry, it's 200, then you're clinically dead in this game. And if you got 100, you're critical. And if you are dead, basically, you can still be revived by another player. So now I'm looking for the right item to heal the burn damage. It is basic uh, first aid kit. There are also other types. I have this regenerative mesh, which as it says you can use for burn wounds. And there's epi EpiPens, surgical drapes, and other items for different wounds. So we take this item. And we actually have to tear it open before we use it. Now I'm aiming for the right body part over here. And click on my character. Now the healing process begins. He's applying the, the item a few times until the wound on this particular body part is gone. I would also like to say that it's... Um, this game is a lot easier to have these deep medical systems because it's just 2D icons and no real animations going on. So I understand that Star Citizen has it a lot diff more difficult to add medical complexity to the game because of all the animation work you have to do in 3D. And you have to do it to a much higher quality level than a 2D game has to do. However, I still think it's a good inspiration to at least try some of it in full 3D, and I think it's going to work. In the next segment of the video, I'm going to show you how Escape from Tarkov does it. I am now on Escape from Tarkov, and my character jumped off a tall ledge. Both the legs are at zero hit points, and now we have to find ways to fix it. In this game, you have various ways to do it. You have um, bandage items for fixing bleeding. You have splints for fixing broken legs. You have items that just heal hit points. You have items that are combined uses of some of those uses. And then you have that one special item that can turn a zero hit point leg into a functional leg again, which is the um, so I will, uh, so surgical kit, yes, that's it. Now let's take a look at the animation of that. Notice it's a complete item, separate from anything else. It is properly animated. It has complex animations of items being removed from it. It has a nice closing animation, as you can see over here. And now that leg is at 1 out of 51. Now I can fill it up with an item that fixes health points, like the AI2. Again, it's a separate item, has its own custom animations, and its own custom effect. So now this one leg is fixed. However, as you can see, my character is still limping. Now it's imagine I do not have, do not have enough medical items to fix the other leg like this. If I want to still be able to run faster or walk, I can use uh, painkillers over here. And now my character can walk again. <clears throat> 